I got one. Oh my gosh. This is insane. What is up everyone? Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of fly fishing with the world's smallest fly fishing pole. I got this tiny reel and I just put this thing together and we're going to see how it does today. I'm fishing this nice little brook behind me, four reeled all the way into here. It was a quite a ride. It was super bumpy all the way. But yeah, we're going to get fishing and see what happens. All right everyone, here's the setup. I have this little tiny reel on here with about uh, five feet of line, and then I got three feet of leader. I got this little uh, olive green, uh, not really sure if it's a stone fly or what kind of pattern it is, but it has rubber legs and stuff. And above that I have a little parachute fly, and then my line, and then I got a little bit of backing on this. Oh yeah, that's gonna work. Nice. It is not going very good today. I just broke it and dropped a piece in the water, but I think it should be fine. This might not have been such a good idea. For a second, I don't know if you could just see all these bugs swarming around me. It's just crazy. I did not bring any bug spray or anything. I thought I'd try throwing it in that little pool there, but if there was any trout in there, I had to get so close, it would probably have spooked them anyway. So I'm gonna try going down a little bit further doesn't work out I'm just gonna give up it is I mean there's just about a hundred flies around me right now anyway we'll keep trying oh my gosh okay there's oh oh shoot there's fish under there I can see them right now they're underneath a log or something I can't cast in far enough of course I couldn't tell if they were trout or not. I think they might have been suckers. Got one, got one. Oh, it's just the chub. Let me get my camera set. Well. Unfortunately, it is just a chub. They look like trout, I couldn't really tell. It's about six inches, very fat. A chub, or some people call them fall fish or whatever. I think this one actually this one actually is a creek chub. Anyway, we're gonna get him back in there. He's no good to us. There he goes. Okay, that's it for this spot. They're all pretty small, and that one was probably one of the biggest ones. I can actually see a good size one in there right now. But we're after trout, not chubs. So we'll keep moving. Oh my gosh, I can't believe what I'm seeing right now. I don't know if you can see that. Those are big. Either sucker or horn pound, they're trying to come up the river. Let me see. I wonder if I can just go grab one. Oh my gosh, they're huge. I gotta set my pole down. They must be like trying to spawn or something. 
Okay, well, I just dropped my iPhone in the water and it came out fine. I can't believe that. These suckers are about 18 inches, I think. I can't, I got them with GoPro footage. I can't get them with, it won't bite anything. I'm gonna try to make a quick uh, fish spear. Never done this before, but they're just sitting in the water behind me because they're so tired. They just came up these rapids. I'm gonna see if I can get one real quick and I will try to catch it on video. I just got my makeshift spear ready. And I'm gonna try to spear one of these. I happen to have my my giant knife that my friend just gave me, so that helped a lot, but I'm gonna see if I can spear one of these real quick. This is insane. Ooh. That did not work. God. He's stuck, he's stuck. I got one. Oh my gosh. This is insane. I just caught one with my bare hands. Look at the size of this sucker. That is crazy. That's that's w well over 20 inches. <laughs> A big sucker. That is so crazy. I literally just reached in and caught this thing with my hands. That's why they're called a sucker because their mouth like that. And they're bottom feeders. They're moving up these streams to spawn. This is insane. I've never caught one of these with my hand before and never one this big. And gosh, it stinks. But it's getting ready to spawn and I don't want to interrupt that spawn so and the bugs are terrible. So I'm going to let them go and get it on the GoPro. But <laughs> I mean, compared to me, that's how big this fish is and I'm not holding it out or anything. It's just huge. So I'm going to get this thing back in the water so it can go up this stream and spawn. Okay, we're gonna give this guy a little head start. I moved him up the river a little bit. Just another look at him, he's massive. So we're gonna let him go. There you go, buddy. Oh man, that is so cool. And they're just laying in the rocks like that. That's how I first saw him. It's not like he's hurt or anything. I just caught another one. These fish are insane. I'm gonna go let him go again. So I just walked down this stream a little bit more. I just saw like a bunch more. I got some good footage with the GoPro. And <laughs> there's a legit waterfall that these fish have to get up. I know it's a little loud, but. And then I think there's fish in there and down. Like this is crazy. They came all the way up this uh, waterfall here, all the way up this stream. This is crazy. I'm glad I didn't spear that fish so that he can uh, keep living and eventually spawn because that's what they're doing. They're going up these streams to spawn. I just spooked another one just in front of me. Well guys, I'm gonna end the video here today. The bugs are just driving me insane. But I'm gonna come back here again. And I like, I have a little pond at my house. I'd like to transplant some of these fish in so they can breed in my pond eventually and I'll have suckers. There's about, I'd, there's a ton of them in here right now. I, st I looked down and they were just circling around my boot. So I'm gonna come here again and I'll try to make that into another video. But I just want to say thanks so much for watching and uh, please subscribe and like this video if you liked it and we'll come out here again and maybe I'll make another video with the world's smallest fly fishing pole. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next time.